The last time he appeared in court for committal, Jamil Adirabachi Chagulanyi, who is more commonly known as Jamil Mukulu, accused the state of threatening his lawyers. Harassing and threatening and intimidating my lawyers. Okay, thank you. As he awaits the date for his trial, he has made fresh claims that the state has attempted to kill him on several occasions since 2015. He says the latest attempt was on the 25th of July. In a six-page handwritten letter addressed the officer in charge of Luzira Upper Prison, his lawyers, his mother, and the executive director of the Foundation for Human Rights Initiative, Mukulu gives details of a plot to take his life. They are using even inmates. He mentions a particular inmate called Lutakome. He's, I think, serving 40 years. He was convicted of murder and then sentenced to 40 years. He made a, a very deliberate attempt on his life, and, and I think he was saved by God because the brick he threw at his head missed the head and, and, and took the shoulder and part of, the, of the, the chest. In the seeing of a particular prison's officer, Mukulu's lawyer, Anthony Wameli, says it's time to take the claims seriously. Chirumila Muhammad was murdered, but he, before his murder, he, were, he always said, people about my against my life, people want to kill me. In case we find that no particular measures are being taken uh, to secure his life, if there is a delayed trial and the prison is appearing to be a threat to his life, probably it could be a reason for him to be released on bail. In the letter, Mukulu lists officers from the police, prisons, chieftains of military intelligence, CMI, who he claims are part of the assassination plan. However, the spokesperson, Uganda Prison Service, has dismissed the claims. Imprisonment is beginning to get to his head. Because Jamil Mukuru is one of the 60,000 or so prisoners that Uganda Prison Service keeps. And if there are people who are interested in him alive, actually Uganda Prison Service is number one, because we, have, we are given a responsibility and we have the mandate to keep him and to ensure that he accesses justice. Mukulu, along with 37 others, await trial for murder and terrorism-related charges. He maintains he is innocent. Edward Mhumza, NTV.